we're starting off this video, our last one ended in Josh's garage, except now Peg's hot rods back together. He put some sort of cobble together turbo. So we're on day three and the third turbo on this unit. So I don't know if that's foreshadowing for tomorrow, if we're doing another turbo tomorrow. If we do it during the day, guys, instead of at night, it'd be great. Well, next time we're gonna but uh, yeah, so we're gonna hit the road in the middle of the night and we should be there uh, quick five, six hours. Right, babe? Well, we're a couple hours into this journey. The roads are not good. But uh, we're at car lock here. We actually don't need any fuel, but uh, some of the guys are with us. Get a little bit of fuel. Oh, Dallas horsing around. It's so dark out. It's, uh, I think it's close to one in the morning, so we'll probably get to the hotel around two or three. Danny's doing good. She's driving the, <coughs> well, herself. Look at this. Wash the windows. You know how we know the roads are bad? Because Josh gives a crap about the window. And apparently the next town, Macklin, there's a thunderstorm. Should we put the rain axe on now? We should probably put the rain axe on now. Yeah. Yeah. I think it works better. Well, we made her to the only hotel with any rooms. Of course, all they had was the expensive stuff because we didn't book ahead. So we're getting a fancy kitchen. It's 2.30 in the morning. So a couple hundred bucks to sleep for eight hours. Pretty good deal. You guys should all do drag week, it's fun. Well, we're just leaving the hotel. All things considered, it's about 10.30 in the morning, so not that bad. That being said, we are, of course, as always, the last people to leave. We're stopping up the mirror, 55 Chevy. One tire seemed a little bit low. It was all over the place on the highway last night. I didn't do a whole lot of filming. We put a pile of miles on, unfortunately, two o'clock in the morning, it was dark. So hopefully we can get to the track, get some good footage, and then carry on to the next town this afternoon with the pack. We're only maybe an hour behind, which uh, in DD Speed Shop time is really not that bad. So, start jamming. We're getting better or just forgetting things, but uh, I changed the tires. Josh is dumping the oil, we pulled the hood off, a little octane boost in the tank. Uh, I think we're ready to go. See if we break anything or see how she goes, but uh, so far so good. Still lots of people here. It's about 1130. Maybe we'll leave the pack today. All right, so we're just doing oil change and we're disposing of it. It's gas. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty thin, eh? Yeah. It's might be a little washed out. Where's topping her up? Oh, you got her beauty. This is a little high test. How dare you? <laughs> Man, Greta's gonna like that. It'll just oil the turbo from both ways. Oh, oh fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. Like, not even anything to say. Veggie, beat you up? All right, so we're all teched in, and actually, they snuck us in, so we're gonna go against the only other gaster here today, well, in the whole event. It's kind of a cool little, little rip, so now we just gotta wait. So that's moving pretty quick. Hopefully, it goes good. Should be up there in 20 minutes. They didn't get any better, so the best pass was 750. People are always asking about this thing's running 750, which is nothing crazy. We're hoping by the end of the week we'll get high sixes. Still figuring out the car and learning it and all that. But it's towing better and better and better. We're getting real close there. But 
we're about to hit it. We got to stop at some museum for a checkpoint, but hopefully we're we'll driving in daylight today versus the dark. It drove terrible last night, then we realized we didn't have enough air in those tires, so we filled it right up. Now we're good to go. I was pulling over. We had a our dipstick tube is popping out. It's kind of a cheap Chinesium one, so that wasn't good. And that's the suspender was falling off. So I tightened that, and then I put a little more adjustment in the steering box. It seems like I don't know. As we're driving it, it loosens, so you can undo the jam nut, put a little more in the set screw, and go from there. So it seems like it's a lot better now. Better, I should say. But uh, I think it's just a lot, of, a lot happening in the front end there. So Josh is going to blast off a little brake clean. And we should uh, should be on the way. Oh look, we got reinforcements anyways, we're all golden. scheduled stop there's a hot rod broken down we're gonna take a look at it apparently he's a welder and uh, old pegs got one so the girls need to stop every 10 minutes to pee so we're basically there that's not even our fault all right on the road again hit the button oh yeah the two <laughs> Slight comedy of errors. 
We're on the highway and the best guys have been helping us all week. A buck dropped down in front of them, took out the truck. So I might break the rules a little bit. We're gonna use the truck here. We're gonna drag them off the road. This is a bad spot to be. So we're gonna hook up, get out of the way, see if we can put a rad in this thing and keep going. So that honestly was one of the scariest things. I've never hit a deer in my life. And like, yeah. that was a huge buck. And that was scary. Like, I'm so glad that the boys are okay. Yeah. Holy crap. I didn't even see it. I saw it. You did good. You handled it good. I'm not about to handle it good. What's that? I'm not about to handle it good. That was so scary for them. Get 
bang it real quick, put it on this gravel roll because it's a bad spot to be in. So we're gonna get it there and we'll get it uh, we'll get it towed from there. Now we can hook up to the trailer and uh, get out of here. Good thing you're here. So the big issue is we have reservations for, for our first actual good dinner of the night. We have to be there in 45 minutes. So we're cheating a little bit. We're gonna unsafe, unsafe, right? So we're all good. And then we happen to have a tow truck on standby in the race with us. So we're probably gonna have him go ahead and tow this thing. Well, we for sure are. All right, that was a bit of a bummer, but we're gonna go with the keg. They're gonna get this thing out of the way. I'll we'll see you in there. Contact. Get it going. Oh, hit the button? Oh, hit the button. So we're in some shady hotel. So Josh is loading up his stick, uh, slicks on the luggage cart because apparently everything is stolen here and they're literally just held on with two lug nuts. So we're doing that, we're taking all the stuff we can out. We're gonna lock the trailer, hide the jerry cans and call our night. I actually just got pulled over and we got out from under it. That was pretty sweet. And then well, for supper, anyways, we got a place to crash. I'm dead tired. We got an early morning tomorrow Go help those boys out and get that Dodge back on the road. So we're gonna try and we found a few parts. Looks like we got a rad coming and some electric fans and stuff like that. So we're gonna hodgepodge that thing together and hit the road to the track. We're probably half hour from the track with where we stand right now. Get through there and then tomorrow's the longest drive of the whole deal. But it should be the best one. So I'm excited for that. But I think that's where we're gonna sign off for now. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so we're at the truck. We're gonna start working on that. The boys with Peg are out trying to get some uh, radiators. So, yeah, we're just gonna start tripping this thing down. Uh, Josh is out getting a few bits, and uh, well, he attracts a new friend for himself. So, we got that to deal with now. That police officer is not happy. He's already told me to go away. But, uh, anyways, we're gonna start taking some bits and pieces off this thing. We'll go from there. Okay, so, Josh managed to completely get out of the way of the cops. It was slightly my fault. Uh, the Nomad's under uh, his name because he had to get insurance on it to get it towed. And I haven't done the paperwork yet to get it under my name. And he might have insured the wrong 55 Chevy before the trek. So, DD Speed Shop. He should have just said DD Speed Shop, got away with it. Yeah, really? Oh, I think. Here. Whoa. So, we got a new, new, new to us, bro. That's... That, that, the belt doesn't ride right there. Oh, yeah, it's gonna, it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, we got a new power steering pump on it. The, uh, <laughs> Tensioner, we got a new one of those coming, or we're we gonna buy one. The only thing we're really missing is radiator. Eh? We, we found, found a rad and we found a fan. We just gotta get it. But we need to get the hell out of Red Deer. It's, there's bad juju here. We gotta get on the friggin' road ASAP. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and straight this thing out a little bit. This is how you do all your body work. And this is, man, this is hey, literally DD Speed Shot. We're gonna Hey, are these DD approved uh, zip ties on them? Man, those are, those are mint. So after we get this guy straightened out, we're gonna get a hood. We gotta straighten out the hood. They're going to grab a radiator real quick, a set of fans, a couple of hoses. Did Dallas grab a belt or whatever? Josh went with the belt, or uh, Stephen did. Stephen with the belt, so we gotta do belt for it. Our steering pump's installed for gold. Is the hood just in the trailer? Yeah, I just have to say, this brings back so many memories. <laughs> All right, so we got her flattened down, but now we're trying to pull it out ways. Got to record. That's gonna come rocking around there. You might want to put it on that. Jump on the strap. I'm gonna wrap it back around with something. You need a big hammer to give it a whack. Yeah, there was one. Hey, Gord. Yeah, if you go wrap around, it'll pull. It's pulling right. It's just this is gonna be not good. I was worried about that. Okay, so we re-rigged out of safety. Yeah, let her rip. He's gone in the F-150. That's why the trailer's just chilling here. Watch the f***ing paint, you f***ing statue. 
Oh, well, we saw that, Alex. Okay. Um, you almost got to drive it right here. Yeah. Have you guys had enough miles of mayhem yet? I've had enough mayhem. We're just getting there. I've had enough traffic stops at mayhem for fuck's sake. It's just red deer. Yeah. You can go back to Saskatchewan. No. Alberta's mint is not in southern. We both have electrical issues. Yep. <laughs> there it is. It's a Dodge that comes with some factory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're gonna have more light pollution. We're about to get the Ford second hand. But we're gonna run out of lights here. I think, uh. Don't get the chrome. I'm already pretty high. Don't get the chrome. Don't use your hand. Hey, don't use your hand back, gang. You're going loud. My voice is gone. That's probably good. Give it one more. Is this, uh, is this supposed to be dead straight or does it have a crown in it? I think it's got a little bit of a crown. I think it's got a, yeah, that's way it's better than it was. It's basically fully restored. I think it's fine. All right. All right. Let's, uh, you want to bolt the hood on, then we'll do the same thing yeah, with the we'll hood to unfold it? Hood, yeah. All right, hood's going on. Look at this. I'll see if I can find two I think they shimmed it perfectly. Then we're going to ratchet strap this. I got outvoted with the crescent wrench. Don't forget that part. For that fine bumper. Ratchet straps for sure going on this. I don't think that's a. Holy fuck! Oh, that's ish. Lock tight in there. Yeah, yeah that's I, good. You don't want the hood to blow off. It's you only put one bolt in? Yeah. yeah. You don't get two right now. Oh. Danny's been doing body work over here on the old furs. I think all the graffiti on the side may have been a problem with the police. Look at her with those two gorgeous legs just painting the truck. And two nice cans. <laughs> gorgeous cans. These all are right. the only cans I'll look at. Look at the work on this board. Oh man. Good folks paint with even strokes. I that's think a, that's the Michelangelo here. <laughs> this. this thing doesn't even look that bad anymore. As it bump starts and it just takes off, it's got the key on. Whoa! Oh, oh, really? Back up, son. Oh, you're good, you're good. Try again. One more right in this. One right there one. and then one right yeah, there. Yeah, right in the center, you'd be golden. A little more. One more. Whoa. I have one hook in. Oh. That's good. We have all spread rod. Yeah. <laughs> if we just drill some holes and put some all yeah, thread there. Yeah, that's right, Ross. Or a ratchet right. strap, whatever. Yeah, we'll be able to get in there because it's right, in these pockets. In these bolts. Drilling some uh, hood pins, which is just all thread rod. We got the radiator in there. We got nuts. We saw Josh had nuts. Yeah, we bought a bunch of nuts. I don't know where they went. I there see there. a bunch of nuts. <laughs> oh, just look back on the footage on your camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're just making some of these. We'll nut and bolt the hood down. We're just running it, make sure it gets uh, some of the air out. We're golden. Hitting the road. It's like noon. Alright, these boys got her all dialed together. 
Yeah, I think that's good. I think we're good. Oh, I'm just going to check the front. Ah. So we got pins in, we've got the bolt pins. We're only like half hour from the track, I think, right? Let's go right where we went. Well, it hasn't been driven. We should be good here, so pull this thing down. We're having a bit of an oil leak now. Never ends. And uh, the 55 is insured, so yeah. we're ready to roll. Yeah. We're giving her. Buddy came by, gave us the old "we're good" tech. In they literally wrote a number on the window and said we were tech. We're jamming the tires out. We're gonna run no hood. Put some adjustments in your box. That's the end of it. We're going. What a wild ride! Kyle's actually got a motor issue, he's changing cylinder heads, so we're getting on the road, Dallas is leading, we gotta go. We stopped at this fine, uh, what is it, Adrenaline Exotics, there's all sorts of fancy hot rods in there, they let us walk around, and uh, I don't I don't think we belonged in there, but uh, anyways, we're, we're leaving now, we're going to get gas, we're going to hit the highway, look at, there's all these hot rods here, we're still like right on the pace.
it again now. Man. I smell gas. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She really should say that they fell off and it's dragging on the fucking road. That would be important information. So we were uh, trying to make up a little bit of time and uh, we had a slight jerry cut malfunction where it, uh, it ejected itself. Oh, I'm covering gas. Oh, and no. <laughs> it dragged. Dragged itself the whole way for a while. Uh, luckily, we've uh, passed the same camper like three times. There'll be another time now. He must think we're absolute idiots. We are. Like, we are idiots, but. Uh... I shake the fist at him. Oh no. <laughs> Man, this is so bad. <laughs> Do you have a funnel in the. No, I didn't bring one. Uh, just open this. It spills into the. The thing, the, the trunk's well fucking. Fuck. Holy! <laughs> you can't step it up if it pours out. It's fine. It's only $1.70 a liter. <laughs> oh, that was good. Good times. At least we're at the passing lane now. The good news is that we always go like 10 liters to the 20. At least now we know how fast we can go. Well, the, the strap's just not rated for 100 miles an hour. The car is. The car is. Drum heller. So there's actually a cool little check spot we're about to go. We're gonna get our uh, picture taken. It's uh, a bunch of bridges and stuff like that. Danny's always want to be a drum heller. Unfortunately, since we're so late, we're gonna be powering through it, sailing. This thing buggies. We were giving her, but uh, we were behind. So back on the road. I did a terrible job beforehand, but we just did 11 bridges on the way to Last Chance Saloon. This is the, I think it's the final checkpoint. Hot Rod made it. Unfortunately, this parking lot is terrible. 
but when they take our picture, get back on the road. Should be our final fuel stop for the night anyways. We load it up. 94 is cheaper than 91. Fantastic here. So filled up jerry can. Danny's got a coffee. We got like an hour to the hotel. And we're golden. Oh. oh. Hi Josh. More hot rod is showing up. <laughs> Alright, well, it's dark, it's late, but we made it to it's Thursday night. So we basically made it to the hotel. And tomorrow we're just going to make it from the hotel to the track and break the beam and we're done. So it's a bit of a premature victory, but there's a party in the parking lot, which is pretty sweet. So today was a long day. Well, yesterday was long. Today we were up early, wrenching on that damn Dodge. We got her going. Those guys made a pass and made it all the way here. Today was actually I think, the longest leg of the trip. So it worked out good. But uh, there's Dee Dee's Beach. <laughs> but I think we're done. It's hotel bedtime, and we'll see you tomorrow. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all those things. Do a comment below.